Hey, how's it going? All right. Hey, I have an OG car I'd like to show you. The OG gangster car. Original gangster car. Original okay. gangster. Pull into the alley. There's a lot back there. I'll meet you back there, all right? Okay. An OG car could be a classic hot rod or something covered in bullet holes, for all I know. Sweet. So this is it, huh? Yeah, this is it. It's a 1940 Buick Sports Sedan Special. There's only one of this series in Nevada. This is a rare bird. And uh, it was Fidel Castro's car. Really? Yes. So who told you the whole story with it being related to Castro? I bought it from the chauffeur. Fidel Castro brought it when he went to Mexico for a few years to fight in the uh, guerrilla war. And uh, he didn't ship it back. So the car was in Cuba, got brought to Mexico, and then Castro was going back to Cuba and ended up leaving the car in Mexico. Exactly. Do you mind if I kind of take a look around the car? Sure, take a look. Needs carpet. I have the original stereo system for it, the original radio. OK. Yeah. I'm digging the swamp cooler. Swamp know. cooler. Back then in the 40s, they would uh, open this up here, fill it with water, get it frozen, mount it back on, and on their way with that long trip, hitting the wind here and cooling the cap. That is cool. What are you looking to get out of it? 35000 35000 Everything's there, all original. OG gangster, right all here. Right. Um, you be rolling, you be rolling. Let me tell you. All right, man, so I am not the expert on 1940 Buicks. Might have a friend of mine come check it out. Sure, sure, have them come out. 1940 Buick, man, that new body was called a sea body torpedo body. Yes. Very distinctive, man, very cool. This was GM's number two, basically uh, Cadillac's little brother. Mind if I open the door and check Go it ahead. out? Yeah. Great. But yeah, you didn't finish the carpeting or the headliner or any of that? Uh, I have the headliner, the carpet I don't have. Yeah, I can see a, like a different shifter in there that's obviously not original, right? No, Would no. Would have been a three on the tree. Right. Looks like the transmission's obviously been changed. Mind if we look underneath the yeah, hood? Yeah, sure, let's do it. All American cars in 1940 were awesome. I can't wait to open the hood and see that cool motor. In 1940, we would have had a Fireball 8, straight 8. Yeah, the straight flat 8 Fireball. That's that, what that is. That was wasn't it. with the car? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. That's a I, shame, really. Yeah. Do you mind if we take it for a test drive? No, I don't so we mind can at see? all. I mean, don't I think that's important. All. When we opened the hood, I was a little let down. I wanted to see that Buick Fireball 8 motor, which is one of the coolest looking motors ever. It just kind of ruined it for me a little bit. Wow, with the car running, the brakes almost go to the floor. They're real, really soft. Oh, man. Yeah. That's pretty iffy, man. Um, you know? We've got some bad brakes here. They're way too soft. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I, this is too big of a car to be driving with brakes like that. Yeah, I feel better <laughs> yeah. doing that. I really do. All right. The danger with soft brakes is they only go so far. So once you hit the ground, you're not pushing anymore. That's it. So if the car's still rolling, there's no stopping the car at that point. We heard it run. You had a good feel for it? I think the plus on the car is the paint and the body work is, pr is pretty darn good. But underneath that, I think there's, it needs a little love. What do you think it's worth? I would probably put the value of this car somewhere around $14,000. That's just. No. Not even. That, that's where I would put the car. Well, that's that's OK for you, but uh, right. I, Again, I, I, I think a lot of that has to do with what it's being a four-door sedan instead of a coupe. Well, that's for the hot rods, not the low riders or the gangsters, OGs, you know, that love these cars and collectors. They're only worth so much. I think that's where we are. Well, my man, I appreciate it. Hey. My pleasure, Cor. All right. Brother, nice, thank nice you, man. It was you. nice meeting you, too. Really think he was way low on the value of the car. Just being an OG Buick makes the car. That's it. All right, my man. I know you want 35 for the car. Yeah. I'm not a collector. Okay. You know, everything I do is I do it for profit. Most I'm going to go is 15000 
you know, uh, give me 25. 15 is way too low. All right, my and man. And 25 is where I'm at. We're so far apart, buddy. It, it's okay. just not there. All right, my man. Well, I appreciate okay. it. Thank you nice for coming down. You. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, and uh, thanks. He might know about hot rods and motorcycles and stuff like that, but he doesn't know about old time classics and, and vintage cars. He's too young to know. He is definitely not an OG.